So I can take my isosceles triangle, and I should find that the center of mass is around 2 thirds L, and that should be about where it balances, kind of like the rod. We can find the center of mass by saying, where does it balance? Uh, where can you balance it? It's a little hard to balance because I got to get right on the uh, right on the x-axis here. There we go, about right there. And yeah, that's about two thirds L. I'm going to go ahead and mark it because now we're going to get wild here, and I've got my isosceles triangle with its center of mass. And I've got my rod with its center of mass, and then we have to do it. Every physics book talks about the wrench. Where is the center of mass of the wrench? It's a difficult integral to do because the shape is so weird, but we can do this trick and say, where is it? It's about right over the A where it says alloy, about right there. So I'm going to mark this one as well. And then to prove that they obey Newton's laws as a single particle, we're going to start throwing these. Hopefully nobody will come in while we're throwing the wrench. All right, first, the rod that you know and love. It's got its center of mass in green. I'll throw it and spin it, and it'll move like a single object. Let's see. Not bad. Here's the uh, isosceles triangle, center of mass in green. It's a little light, tends to fly. Let me see if I can get it to behave here. Uh, maybe not. And then finally, here's the wrench. Got its center of mass by balancing it. It's in green and hopefully nobody will come in here and we'll see if this one also moves like a single object. Let me get it going here. Pretty good from here. So all of them move, their center mass moved as though I just threw a ball. 